A group of criminals are in the middle of a heist, and at the end of the mission, one of the characters says F it and double crosses his teammates. Some of the group members are almost killed, but they narrowly escape by driving a car into a lake. Not only do they manage to dodge a bullet by not dying from the impact, but they also dodge the bullets of the gunmen surrounding the lake. To get payback for the man that set them up, they have to put a team together. The team includes a hip hop recording artist, a hacker, precision drivers, and the team also includes demolition experts who are really good at blowing things up. We find out how good during the scene where the demolition experts blow up the toilets and caca water gets all over the floor. There's also this one sexy blonde lady who's working with law enforcement and she joins the team too. It's probably the dumbest idea in the world to plan a heist and team up with a lady who could put you in jail. But the leader of the criminals trust her because one, she lost a family member in cold blood and this mission sort of counts as payback for her. And two, he wants to smash. The team reports for duty and now that everyone's in attendance, they make a toast to family and pinky square not to double cross each other like the last time. The leader describes who they're going to rob and how they're going to rob them. It's a bad idea. The plan is a bad business decision because it's way too personal. I'm not sure having a civilian on the crew is a good idea, John. You know what happens when emotion gets into it. Sounds personal to me. I got love for y'all, a personal and good business. They spy on the bad guy to learn his system. Then they plant cameras on the property so they have 24 hour surveillance. One of the characters infiltrates the place where the bad guy's hiding the money and the mission officially becomes impossible after that. The bad guy's hiding the money in the best safe money could buy. And even if they somehow manage to crack the vault, it's damn near impossible to get away with all that money without getting caught. At their secret warehouse, they build a simulation to practice the getaway driving without getting caught. The girl tries it, but she's too slow. They practice over and over again and no one is able to pass the simulation. Then, the leader is all like, it's not our driving, I think it's the cars. They hire a mechanic to upgrade the getaway cars and the leader agrees to give him a share of the money even though the mechanic was the last one to join the team and did the least amount of work. How very Christian of him. The girl in the group goes on a date with the villain to keep him distracted and to see if she could get some information out of him. When they get back to the warehouse, something ridiculous happens and now the bad guy is moving all of his money and has hired extra security. They all agree they have to speed up their plan which unfortunately wasn't part of the plan. The cars take the streets and one of the members stays behind and directs them on the best available getaway route with the least amount of red lights because they don't trust the GPS. They take the money and a traffic person on the computer tells them that they only have a small window to unload the money. You are clear for 90 seconds. You guys just carved out a 10 second window. Make it count. When it's actually time to crack the safe, the only way they could open it is by touch. I have to do it by touch. And without Reyes' handprint, Houdini himself couldn't open this they finally cracked the safe and oh am god. I haven't seen that much money in one place since the 22nd mark of the DuckTales intro. The bad guys send two motorcycles after the criminals and they start shooting up the cars like but da 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 but da 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 but da 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 His aim is great, but you shouldn't shoot and drive at the same time. One of the motorcycle gunmen crashes into the car and the other crashes shortly thereafter. The main character tells the team to split up and he'll set a diversion. He drives away, makes a U-turn, and then plays chicken with the bad guy and he wins. The bad guy wore a seatbelt and he doesn't die after the accident. He's better off dead though because when the other character that partnered with the good guys for revenge finds him, he gets redemption by killing the villain. Earlier in the movie, there was a part where the team said what they would buy if they had millions of dollars. You got a little more than, than 10, 11 million dollars coming. What you gonna do with your money? 35 million dollars, you can't get more creative than that, man. At the end, their dreams come true and it shows you how each of the members spent their millions. Most of them spend it on property, cars, chicks, etc. And some people said money can't buy you love, but the lie detector test determined that was a lie because two of the members swipe a debit card and start a relationship. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <gasps>